in this quick video i'm gonna show you how to fix the problem of your iphone that keeps on restarting and getting stuck on the apple logo in here this is a very common problem on iphone users which is known as the apple boot loop obviously my phone is working perfectly fine this was just a picture that i used to showcase how the problem looks like but do not worry i'm gonna show you how to fix this problem on your iphone today in this video and take note that this works on any iphone model so you do not need to worry about the iphone model that you've got hey my name is shaq and welcome to fixed by shaq in this channel i help you fixing a lot of tech issues and i also do share a lot of cool tech hacks so if you're into tech content consider subscribing to the channel today i'll help you fixing the problem of your iphone getting stuck on the boot logo this is a very common problem on iphone users but do not worry do not panic i'll show you all the steps in order to help you fixing this problem it's very important for you not to skip this video otherwise you might miss a very important step in the middle of the process it's very important for you to follow all the steps that i'll show to you in the particular order that i'll be showing them to you in order to achieve the solution for this particular problem there are several reasons that actually may cause this problem i won't talk about all the reasons but i'll talk about the most common causes of this problem which might be a software problem or a hardware problem most of the times our iphone software gets corrupted when it's updating okay so normally our phones have automatic updates that normally takes place during nighttime when we are sleeping so it might be the case that one update was actually running and suddenly it did not finish so when this happens most of the times our iphone software gets corrupted this might be a cause for this problem or this might be one of the causes of this problem something that also causes this problem is to use your phone while your storage is actually full it's very important for you to clean your storage from time to time one of the major causes is actually using your phone while your storage capacity is full this is very unhealthy to your phone it slows down your phone and consequently it might cause your software to corrupt Another common thing that causes this problem is actually your battery. Your battery might be very old or your battery might not be functioning very well. There might be a problem with your battery or also there might be a problem with one of the connectors to your motherboard. Motherboard is basically the board that is inside your mobile phone. But do not worry, all you need to do is just follow the steps and I'll be showing to you in this video how to fix this problem. So now moving into the steps that you need to perform in order to fix your iPhone that keeps on restarting and getting stuck on the Apple boot loop, we're going to start with the very first step. Obviously, your phone is turned off at this moment and what we'll be doing first is performing a hard restart on your iPhone. So if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, uh, just like I do have, you need to hold the power button along with the volume down button. So this is what you need to perform. Press both of the buttons for a few seconds until your iPhone restarts and you'll see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, you're going to release the buttons and let the phone turn on. If you have an iPhone 8 or above iPhone 8, if you have an iPhone 8, X, 11, 12 or 13, something like that, what you need to do is just uh, rapidly tap on the volume up and then volume down and then press the power button. This is how it looks like volume up, volume down, and then hold the power button for a few seconds until you see the Apple boot logo on your screen, okay? So this won't work on my phone because I have an iPhone 7, but that's the procedure in order to perform the hard restart on the iPhone 8 or later models. If you have the iPhone 6, all you need to do is just hold the power button along with the home button. You need to press both of the buttons for a few seconds until you see the Apple logo once again on your screen that's going to perform a hard restart on your iphone if you've got an iphone 5 all you need to do is just hold the power button which is located on top of the phone along with the home button so you need to hold these two buttons for a few seconds until you see the apple logo restarting on your iphone once again if you have an iphone se you need to perform the same steps as the iphone 8 or later models now if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got what you need to do next is remove the case of your phone if you've got an iphone case attached to your iphone so we're going to remove the case that we've got 
and what we'll be doing is basically applying a bit of pressure on the back and on the front of your mobile phone like this keep on applying a bit of pressure because there might be the case where a few of your connectors inside your motherboard might have been disconnected if your iPhone fell down or something like that. So by applying a bit of pressure on the back and on the front, this helps uh, reconnecting all those connectors. But be careful, don't apply a lot of pressure, otherwise this might damage your LCD screen. So make sure you apply a bit of pressure, but not a lot of pressure on top. And once that's done, we're going to press our power button continuously like this. Okay. So assume my phone is turned off. You just need to keep on pressing the power button for several times because sometimes it happens that our power button also gets jammed. And when our power button gets jammed, obviously your phone won't be able to turn on and it's going to be like on the restart loop forever. So keep on pressing the power button rapidly like this and then see if this solves the problem that you've got. After performing all these three steps, we're going to try once again the hard restart. As I've said before, an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you hold the volume down along with the power button. If you have an iPhone 8 or later models, you hold the volume up and then down and then hold the power button. Note that this needs to be something that needs to be done quickly, like up down and then hold the power button if you have the iphone 6 just hold the power button along with the home button keep on pressing it continuously if you have the iphone 5 power button along with the home button if you have the iphone se you perform the iphone 8 or later models procedure now if the hard restart still didn't fix your problem also after trying all the steps we need to go to the last steps the last two steps are basically uh, updating your phone and restoring your phone if the update doesn't work in order to perform this you're gonna need a laptop and internet connection on your laptop in order to update your phone this is the ultimate step and this is the last step that never fails okay if this step fails then there might be a problem with your iphone hardware okay but in most cases 90 percent of the cases this update and restoring process helps fixing your phone on this last step you're gonna need an iphone you're gonna need a usb cable and obviously lastly you're gonna need a laptop okay your laptop can be a windows pc or a macbook that doesn't matter any laptop works even if you have ubuntu or any other operating systems that works perfectly fine in my case, I've got a MacBook in here and I'll be showing you how to perform on the MacBook, but the steps are exactly the same for the Windows PC as well. So here I am on my MacBook and the very first thing you need to do is basically make sure that you have iTunes installed. If you have a Windows PC, you just need to go to this website. I've got the link in the description box below okay and then you need to just click here on download we've got itunes the last version uh, for windows 32 bit so you need to download this last version of the itunes and install on your windows pc okay you just need to click on download and then double click on the downloaded file and follow all the steps in order to install the last version of the iTunes for Windows PC. Now, if you have an Apple uh, MacBook, normally iTunes comes installed on your MacBook. All you need to do is just come here to the top right corner where we've got the spotlight and then you need to search for iTunes. And here we go, we've got iTunes right here. You just need to double click on iTunes and then iTunes is gonna launch immediately. Now, while iTunes is open, we need to connect our phone through a USB cable into our MacBook. Connect the USB cable into your MacBook or laptop. Connect the USB cable into your iPhone, okay? And once this is done, we need to put our iPhone into recovery mode. This is very simple. It's very similar as the force restart or hard restart on our iPhone as we've performed before. So what you need to do on iPhone 7 or uh, 7 Plus, you need to hold the volume down button along with the power button. So you need to press these two buttons until you see the uh, Apple logo twice. So you need to keep on pressing these two buttons. You're gonna see the Apple logo uh, once. You need to ignore the very first uh, Apple logo and you need to keep on 
waiting as you guys can see i've got the first apple login here so i need to keep on pressing without releasing these two uh, buttons uh just keep on holding them until you see um the iphone usb cable logo on your phone so we've got the second iphone uh logo in here so you need to wait for a few couple of seconds and here we go we've got the iphone usb cable saying to connect into our uh, laptop we are already connected into our laptop so we need to jump into our laptop now if you have the iphone 8 or later models what you need to do is just hold the volume up and then volume down and then keep on pressing the power button for a few seconds without letting it go until you see this image right here if you have the iphone 6 as i've said before you just need to hold the power button along with the home button so you just need to keep on pressing both of these buttons until you see two apple logos restart and then you see this message right here if you have the iphone 5 all you need to do is just hold the power button which is on top along with the home button keep on pressing these two buttons until you see this uh image right here if you have the iphone se you need to follow the iphone 8 or later models procedure now once we're here we need to go straight into our macbook so here i am back into my macbook or a laptop so once you connect your cable your iphone into your computer while your iphone is in the recovery mode you need to make sure that you are connected to the internet okay make sure that you're connected to the internet by means of wi-fi or any other internet connection and once you uh, relaunch uh, itunes or reopen you're gonna find this message which says there is a problem with your iphone that requires to be updated or restored so the very first step we're gonna be doing is update and not restore because restore uh loses your data so we're gonna start with update we're gonna tap here on update and then itunes is going to start downloading the software once that's done you just need to follow all the steps in order to update your uh, iphone now if the update doesn't help you fixing the problem or if you find any issue while updating you need to go through the restore process unfortunately the restore process is a process that uh, erases all your data but this is your last option this is your last chance you need to restore all your data so if you haven't backed up any data on icloud you're gonna lose all your data so you just need to tap on restore obviously i cannot tap on restore because i cannot restore my phone right now but you just need to tap on restore and keep on following these steps in order to erase everything that is on your iphone and this is going to help you uh, putting your iphone into factory default settings so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching fixed by Shaq. if this video really really helped you do like the video leave a comment down below and consider subscribing by leaving a comment down below and liking the video you're actually helping my video to get recommended here on the platform and by getting recommended here on the platform i can reach out to more people and help more people with the same problem as yours let's help more people fixing their problems too thanks for watching fixed by Shaq, and i'll see you in the next one